I got a comment on the one and only rant video I ever did. Let's see what it says here. Uh, I love the juxtaposition between this and your usually happy Skippy Tom personality. Happy Skippy? I wonder what a happy Skippy Tom would look like. <laughs> Thank God nobody will ever see that. one and all, and welcome once again to Tom's Hit Parade. It is time for my February bargain bag video. Yes, if I was going to do one video this month, this was going to be it. Uh, can't skip a bargain bag month, uh, you know that. But anyway, yes, bargain bag is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of a mystery CD grab bag cobbled together with the uh, four for a dollar CDs that they were at the time from Epic Seconds, a store in downtown Eugene. Lots of fun to go there and browse if you've never been. Because most of you don't live in Eugene, so you never have. Anyway, uh, yes, before I open this new bag uh, live in front of the camera, I'm going to go over and break down the contents of last month's bag in rough order from castoffs to keepers. Uh, so let's see what treasures and jewels and, uh, well, what crap also there might have been in this bag. This first one I have not listened to yet because it is a holiday CD. I'm saving those until after Thanksgiving when I start listening to holiday music. But it is Believe, Magical Holidays, Volume 3. Uh, I'm looking forward to listening to this one, though, because it has... Um, oh, uh, Keb Mo is on it, and a bunch of other... A lot of the other ones are actually teen pop stars, so it's kind of weird that you've got Keb Mo and um, uh, Luther Vandross and Gloria Estefan in here and Celine Dion alongside uh, Jessica Simpson, NSYNC, and 98 Degrees. So... But what the heck, it makes for an eclectic collection, doesn't it? Anyway, I look forward to listening to that one, but uh, <clears throat> on to the CDs that I did listen to. Uh, I've got, what, four keepers, I think? Maybe five. Uh, first of all, we've got uh, Adam Pascal, or Pascal, I'm not sure how, how you pronounce it. Uh, basically, kind of like a... Uh, well, he does diversify his sound. He's got... Uh, it's mostly post-grunge-ish rock. Um, Yes, this was done in 2000, the year 2000. But he also, there's also a couple of songs. There's one that kind of sounds a little like country. He puts a little country spin on it. And another one that sounds a little more folky and some others that sound kind of bluesy. So he has a variation in the sound, but still it was not quite uh, enough to keep me really interested. And so that one is going to be a cast off. Uh, this next one, I'm kind of dis disappointed that, th that this is a cast off because I do have a couple of his uh, early albums, and I rather like them. Uh, this is Duncan Shake. Uh, this is his fifth or sixth album called Whisper House. It was okay. It was a little bit more on the folkier side and a little bit of a kind of a darker uh, instrument instrumental palette in, in some ways. I mean, there were a couple of upbeat songs on here, but uh, lyrically it was a little bit dark, so it was just not quite my thing. So... Uh, this one I might be a keeper. I'm going to listen to it once more. Actually, I think it is going to be a keeper because I did like a few of the songs on here. Uh, Vince Gill. Uh, let's make sure we kiss goodbye. This is, what did I figure, his, like his ninth album, I think, when I looked it up on Wikipedia. But uh, yeah, he's got a duet with Amy Grant, who is his wife, I believe. And that, that was a pretty good song, When I Look Into Your Heart. And Baby Please Don't Go has kind of a rockabilly sound to it, so that was kind of cool. And uh, Hey God was the, is the closing track, and it has a bit of a religious um, bent to it, but it's in, in kind of a, an intriguing way for me. Most religious or gospel song, uh, music is totally lost on me. I'm just not a religious person. But uh, I kind of like the, uh, the message in that song. It was a pretty good song. And uh, Look What Love's Revealing, that was a pretty good one, good ballad. And uh, so, yeah. Some a few good few good songs on that one, so I think I'm going to keep that one. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. These next two, I've kind of been in a a bit of a uh, uh, female folk rock artist kick lately. Uh, I picked up, and some of these I think I picked up in my Portland trip last month. Um, Suzanne Vega and Sean Colvin, two uh, folk rockish artists of a similar vein, and I've rather liked them. I've listened to, been listening to their CDs lately. 
And so these next two artists are kind of in that uh, same thing. So I, yeah, of all the subgenres that I never thought I would be getting into or, or having a, a bit of a, a kick on, uh, it would be female folk rock artists. Go figure. It's like, I, I don't know why, why it came about, why it's happening, but I'm going with it because what the heck, why not? Uh, so yes, uh, Dar Williams is this one. This is her her first major label album. Actually, this was, well, Razor and Tie, so semi-major label. Uh, but it's like her second album overall. Uh, pretty good stuff. If you like Sean Colvin or uh, Suzanne Vega, you like Dar Williams. Uh, s maybe slightly a bit more country than either of those two artists, maybe. But uh, yeah, some good stuff on here. Uh, couldn't be... Oh. <laughs> The next to last track is called Southern California Wants to Be Western New York. So just, just the title of that song kind of uh, makes you chuckle. So uh, yeah, I kind of like that one. And then this next one, uh, this one is a little bit more folk and a little bit less rock than uh, Dar Williams or the other two I mentioned. Uh, Jennifer Robin is her name, and uh, this album is called Fish Up a Tree. Interesting title. But uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. She's got a very, very good voice. And oh, what this, this, this had... Didn't this have a? Uh, oh no, that's that's the next CD. I was gonna say I was gonna say I thought this one had some covers on it, but no, that's that's the next one. But yeah, a good pair of female solo artists. Um, yeah, several years ago, I was just not into female artists hardly at all. Not a sexist thing. I just I just felt that there wasn't enough variation in female voices in comparison to male voices. But uh, I have uh, changed my tune, pun intended, on that. Uh, so yeah kind of glad that I've been discovering more female artists lately. This next one is a jazz artist, Paul Jackson Jr., and this is his album A River in the Desert. Uh, good stuff on here. It's uh, basically smooth jazz. A couple of the songs have vocals in them. And yes, this one, oh, End of the Road, which is a, a ballad that was done by uh, All for One, I think. Oh, no, 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 Boys to Men, I think of that one, sorry. But yes, a very nice uh, smooth jazz cover of... Uh, that song, and I thought there was, <coughs> excuse me, another another cover. Uh, Heaven is that the Eric Clapton song? Let me take a second and look and see if I'm right. Uh, oh no, it's I don't think it's the Clapton song. But anyway, uh, I, th I think I think, think I think there was one more cover somewhere on the CD. But anyway, very good stuff. I, I I'm kind of like I kind of like smooth jazz and that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, probably gonna keep that one. But the winner, winner, chicken dinner, you might recall if you watched last month's video, I was kind of suspecting this was going to be the winner uh, the, the instant that I pulled it out of the bag last month uh, because I have her first two albums and this is her third album and I had kind of been, I had almost bought it at House of Records uh, within the last few weeks. So it's a good thing I didn't because I completely forgot that I'd picked it up and put it in one of these bags. Liz Wright with her album The Orchard. She is a fantastic uh, jazz slash R&B slash soul singer. Wonderful voice and some great stylings, great song stylings. And uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you... Actually, there were several good songs on here. Uh, this is worth listening to. If you have not, if you've never checked out Liz Wright, I strongly recommend checking her out, if, especially if you like uh, female R&B inflected jazz. Yes, uh, each one of her albums. Her first album was in my sister's collection. That's how I uh, came to be aware of her. And so I picked up her second album a while later. And then I've been going on. Uh, after this album, she gets a little bit into the gospel realm. So, hey, if you like gospel music as well, that's an even more of a reason to check out her fourth album. It's called Fellowship, I think. Uh, and, I'm you know, even though it kind of goes into gospel, I think I'm going to pick it up uh, and check it out because... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of gospel music, but I've got a couple albums that kind of lean toward gospel. Um, you don't have to get the messages in out of the songs in their literal religious context. You can think of it in a more abstract spiritual way sometimes. So anyway, that is the, uh, <clears throat> the breakdown of last month's bag. So let's go ahead and tear into this one. I'm going to hopefully cut the tape from the right side. It's being a little more stubborn than it usually is. Don't know why it was doing that, but anyway. Oh. No, I did not cut it from the right side. <laughs> Maybe that's why it was stubborn. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and lock off the top here. Make it easier to reach in there with my fingy. And get the CD out. Well, let's take a look at what we've got here. I'm going to turn it right side up. What do we have here? Oh, Superhero. <laughs> this one kind of, uh, the, uh, well, the title, obviously, uh, made it uh, look interesting to me. So, uh, yeah, so I'd take a look at it. And it is a Seattle, uh, kind of a, an independently produced album. The group is out of Seattle. So, yeah, why not try that? And, oh, I forgot to mention before I open this bag, there are two CDs that I know are somewhere in one of these bags. Let's see if one of them is in here. Uh, Moby's Play and the soundtrack from Schindler's List. So let's see if I have one of these in here. Got, uh, no, not this one. John Anderson. Uh, this is a country album, it looks like. Uh, yeah, never heard of him before, but I figured, what the heck? Give him a try. I'm getting a little bit more into uh, country music recently, so... Why not? You, know, you never know if you're going to like it or not until you've listened to it, right? Then what do we have here? The Statlers, Partners in Rhyme. And I don't know if this is the Statler Brothers, or a variation on the Statler Brothers, or if these guys are just completely unrelated. But, uh, yeah. What the heck? Oh, Hello Mary Lou is the first track. I don't know if is that a cover of the Rick Nelson song, maybe? And then uh, Autumn Leaves. I don't know if that might be the... Uh, Pop standard, and then it closes with a Mary, Amazing Grace. A Mary and Grace. Next one in the group. Oh, Aaron Neville. Cool. I have another Aaron Neville CD, and uh, so I figured give this one a try as well. Oh, Everybody, Everybody Plays the Fool is on here. It's one of his big hits. And let's see, any other good hits on here? Oh, <clears throat> well, this I'm not going to be able to. Uh, to follow the ins instructions on here. I'm supposed to please return to the Wises. I went ahead and showed that because what are the chances that they would still have that post office box? Don't send them any mail to their post office box. Just or maybe I'll just cover it up with in post-production. I don't know. Anyway. Next one. Uh, Ethel Smith, Organ Extravaganza. Now it's time to boogie. Anyway, uh, <laughs> So yeah, what the heck. I've kind of gotten into organ music a little bit lately, so I figured, what the heck, this it'll be fun to listen to. That's the objective mainly with these bargain bags is it's it's fun to listen to. You don't know if you're going to like it or not. Some of it's going to be absolute trash, uh, but that hasn't happened very much lately, though. Not very much at all. And some of it might be some of my new favorite stuff could be hidden in one of these bags. Who knows? Then what do we have here? We have Linda Eater or Ader. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I, I have heard of her. I have never listened to an album of hers. Uh, yeah, I think she's kind of like an easy listening or uh, pop vocal jazz type of uh, singer. So, yeah, I, I'm reading some a couple of songs on here that look like uh, Great American Songbook Standards, Lerner and Lowe or uh, Gershwin, that kind of thing. And two more CDs left in this bag. What's this one? Oh, this is a Blue Note Remix CD, uh, Drop on Science. Uh, oh, Greatest Samples from the Blue, Blue Note Lab. So I guess this, yeah, I don't think this is a remix. This is tracks that a lot of samples are taken from uh, in the world of hip hop and etc. So, yeah, if you're listening to uh, some classic jazz here, it's a little compilation of classic jazz. So there you go. And the final disc in this month's parking bag <laughs> is. Johnny Clegg Savuka. Oh, Johnny Clegg and Savuka. Uh, I am very vaguely aware of these guys. Actually, wasn't there a, an album that came out? I'm never going to be able to remember which one it was, but uh, uh, Johnny Clegg was brought in on some of the tracks, and it was shortly before he passed away, I think. Uh, but I, like I said, I can't remember who, what album that was. If I remember or if I look it up in post-production, I'll put it down here in the text. But uh, yeah. And this is, oh, Cruel, Crazy, Beautiful World is the name of this one. So I love the cover on that. Gorgeous, color, colorful cover. So, yeah. So cool. I am looking forward to listening to this stuff. Uh, mostly world music, I think, is uh, Johnny Clegg and Sabuka's uh, stock in trade. 
or was, that is. But anyway, so that is it for this month's Bargain Bag. Uh, yeah, we're, we're chugging along the final year of Bargain Bag. Uh, I think I'm going to mean that for real this time, the last year of Bargain Bag. I'm going to probably take it easy after this year is over when we head into 2024. Uh, but that's months away, so I have lot of, lots of time to speculate on that. And uh, this channel is ever-evolving, so it will be in 2024. It will be what it will be. So anyway, far be it from me to continue rambling. That'll do it for Bargain Bag for February 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Also scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and browse my past videos. And be sure to ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob.